Hello everybody, my name is George and welcome back to a long anticipated video of this channel. I've been saying I'm going to do this video for about a year now and I've finally got to it and it's something that I've been wanting to do for ages because I've finally got my 11th TARDIS, not, not the 11th Doctor TARDIS, that's my 11th TARDIS that I've got. And it's the first one we're going to be reviewing at, actually. It's the second Doctor's TARDIS. From the War Games. I've, I've got them all, all written down down here. So for the first five TARDISes. Yeah, first five tar TARDISes. So second Doctor's TARDIS is first. And as you can see, open it up. Nothing inside. Just like these B&M sets have been. Um, with this one, it's got nice big chunky light on, on it, which is quite nice. Uh, difference here with the uh, signs is the front one's white, and then the other three are black on it. Signs black as well, which is which is quite nice. It, and it does get, it has got a tinge of blue to it. In a, in a very good light. I have seen like uh, some YouTubers have it, and they say when you see, see it in real life, it does look very blue. But like looking at, at it now, and, I, and, I, and I'm using like, like proper sun, sunlight coming in because I'm right by a massive window. Um, but it, but it definitely gives a black and white look, which is quite nice. Definitely, if you've got a black and white. Patrick Charlton figure, uh, which I, I don't have, I, I just have uh, uh, the normal version, the one from when this episode was filmed, the war games, where we just had any trousers, uh, and the one from the two the doctors, where he has the big red eyebrows. But yeah, it's a nice little TARDIS, very hollow, and it's still. It doesn't have that waxy feel like the first couple times there, which we'll get to. But it's like it has less of that waxy feel, but not as plastic as the 10th, 11th, 12th Doctor Tardis is. But yeah, it, it, it's, it's a lovely little box, and it, and it is quite small compared to the other, the other ones. I think it, I think it, it, it is one of, of the smallest. Looking at them down here. I think the next TARDIS, or, or this TARDIS, is the smallest. Talk about the next TARDIS. It is the third Doctor TARDIS from Monster of Peladon. Now, I know they did two different variants. I think I, I got that name from the one that um, came out after this, where it had more of a darker wash to it. Then they're very light blue with the black bottom. And I know they put a smaller bottom on because this these this one be one of the of the first comparing it to that one. I said it had a more chunky base than the flat base. Now I quite like, like the chunky base and having the flat face because it just gives it more character that it's a different doctor's TARDIS basically. Like you compare Capaldi's TARDIS to Whitaker's TARDIS. That had a massive change, uh, but still, you can tell which doctor it is. But yeah, it's got a black lamp on it, which is a bit smaller than uh, the second doctor's lamp. Signage is all black, and and, th and that sign is black as well. But yeah, overall, it's a nice box. Um, with the colour. Uh, being how light it is, kind of reminds me of, of Capaldi's TARDIS being that very light blue, which I I think looks very nice on the uh, the, the new era box. Uh, but yeah, I like the light blue on on this one. I think it's quite nice. Uh, and I'm guessing they took might have taken inspiration for. Capaldi decided us with that one being that nice light blue. Second one is one of two. 
Both top Tardises. Now, this one's quite similar to the third Doctor one. It has the same base, just painted, painted the same. Well, a different blue. Same with the box itself. Uh, look at, at the signage. It's just been changed to white instead of black, uh, and that and that's the same kind of font as the third Doctor Tardis. So if I keep looking there or, or there, like that that's where all the Tardis are down here, and I'm moving them to there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm moving them to there, so I can just look at them and, and compare them just just for you guys. But yeah, it's got a grey lamp, as I said, it's got it's got the white. Sign signage, and it's still got the black sign out on the front. But yeah, overall, it's just ha it's just a, a repaint of the uh, third Doctor box with like the grey top and different colour signs. Now this one I really like, uh, and it is a bit different, and it's the shoulder box. Now I love. This box's windows in this being the orangey red, and you'll see that on a custom TARDIS a bit later on. And I'll explain that custom TARDIS when I get, get to it. So it's got the nice blue outside where it's kind of of the same blue they used for the other fourth Doctor box, but more washed with like a dark colour. Got a small base on this one, but and it is black, kind of like the third Doctor one, uh, which is quite nice. And it, and to top it all off, you've got the signs that are all black, which which you can tell. But it's the police lines on, on top, which is quite nice and very different to every retardist. Like if you see that police light on, on a TARDIS model. You know whatever episode it's going to be from straight away, and it is shorter. But yeah, it's a, it's a lovely little blue lamp. Shame it is it's in the light up because that would be a very cool thing. Uh, I know they didn't show it, it, it with the other two tardises that I was just showing, but they all, for, for these classic tardis, tardises, don't have the background, in, which is quite a shame, I, I think. But uh, overall, it's very nice. And, one thing I was that they they changed the sign to blue on on this box. Uh, looking at at the other three, they're all black. Once uh, they they just made this one blue, which is quite nice. And yeah, that's all really for that one. All right, next one, if I can get these right, right smash them all up, is the fifth Doctor box. Now, when this got released. Brand new top in it, so a brand new roof compared to the other ones, and that's about it for this box. Now the lights the same as the other um, fourth Doctor box and the third Doctor box, so the lights the same, just a, a different colour. Back to this blue signage is blue, which I think that's the first time that happened with these boxes that I've got. As you can tell, I don't have the second Doctor. No, sorry, I don't have the first Doctor Box. Fifth Doctor Box is this one. So, first, six, seven, eight. But yeah, very nice indeed. Um, and you can tell it, it was from K and a design because it was met, left in like the. I haven't properly watched the episode now for a while, so I've, I've, it's in Mud, mud Storm, that's it. But yeah, it's got a bit of mud on, which makes it look a little bit different. Yellow windows, which isn't much of a change. It's still got the blue signage on both of them. And yeah, the main new component was this roof, which is, is a very nice design. So, and it really gives off that classic vibe going into the into the 70s and 80s. So now we'll skip six, seven, and eight, and go to the first custom, the War Doctor Tardis. 
Now, this is custom. Still got the interior of the Tempest Doctor as well, which I've been meaning to change. Um, overall, what I've done is painted it on, on there. Now, I've seen people use just normal paint. I've used Tipex and it, um, it seems to be a lot better than paint because I, I did do it with paint at first and it didn't go that well. Well, not that it didn't go that well. I painted it per perfectly just like this one. But the paint wouldn't stay on that nice. And I didn't want to go and sand it down because I, I didn't want like, bits of a way I sanded it down like peeking out. But as you can see, I painted all four sides with, with the white, which is quite nice. Same lamp as the Temple of Doctor on it, basically the whole same box. But it has got some nice orange lights where I do this myself, where the, these two like, ones have the orange there and there, but they also have a light orange there, and there's still on, on the top compared to the the side, these three side windows, which I just basically put a little bit of uh, um, pencil in there just to make them look a bit darker. And I, I know, I think one of the windows was cracked in the, in the episodes, I've just done like a little scratch crack mark in it, which is quite nice. Next one is my original TARDIS and my very first TARDIS, the ninth and 10th Doctor Box. Now there's nothing different about this, you've probably all seen this one quite often, but the sign's all nice, the interior is lovely. Don't think, no, got no sound in this one because I changed it over to the other TARDIS, which we'll see later on. But yeah, overall. You've all seen it before, and it's a lovely box, and it's one of my favourites. Probably is my favourite, and uh, the very first one I saw. Now, on to Eleven's first TARDIS. Well, well this is Eleven's tar TARDIS, which she's got. So she's got the first. It's first TARDIS in there. If I can get it in the right light, you can just back see it in there. Now, uh, with this one, it's just a repaint of the 10th Doctor box at the end of the day. Uh, first time since the first Doctor, I think, where we got the St. John's Ambulance badge. I might be completely completely wrong, and it might be on you know, the 8th Doctor's title, so I can't, I can't remember the movie, really. But yeah, first time we've seen that since the first Doctor, I'm going to say. Different lamp to it, which isn't not much of a difference. I did notice that the the light for this one, these are not talked about, so they did seem to wiggle it out quite a bit, which is definitely true because the, that one wiggles quite a lot. Now, onto one of my favourites, and I, I think the tenth doctor one would be my second, well, my first favourite. So this one would be my second. Pink Fordy's box. Now, same as Eleven's box, um, but that really light blue, which I think is a, lo a lovely looking colour. Uh, definitely like it more than like, the very dark blue that Eleven had. Don't like it as much uh, as David and the X from Stardust, but I love the light blue. One thing we, that was all new with this is the, the lamp's the same. Body is the same, but that lights up, and, and you won't be able, 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 able to see it that well. Let me turn it off because you can't see it. That, well, no, you can't see it really. But the sign lights up. I think this for electronics for the, these TARDISes is the best because you've got the light, got the windows. You got the sign where just where with with an eleven's box you had nothing at all. Actually, no, I'm wrong. I think you had just had the light that lit up, and with this one you had the interior that lit up with the lights and the 
um, lives itself. And actually, if if I'm right, these signs light up as well, which is quite nice. Now on to a box that I was looking forward to uh, from Promo Pictures. Now, in, in the Promo Pictures that was released, it had an interior, it had a different shell, it had it to turn it purpley on, but then they went and made it being M. They being M D it basically. So no interior, one light right at the top. So we're going back to eleven. Nice colour. Um, different roof. Use a chunky bottom. Chunky bottom compared. From the classic art because I've got a new roof and I've got a new lamp basically uh, with the black sign which come back after the classic era basically. Um, overall as well these are stickers they shall be moulded like these that they shouldn't be stickers they should be mold just like all the others and we know you can do it character because look at the recon scout that was the first one first dialect figure to we are and where we can move the middle around so you could do a much nicer job in this and you would sell a lot more even though you sell quite a lot of them you can sell a lot more. But yet, you know, I do like this box. It's disappointing. It really is. It is disappointing at the end of the day. Because it could have worked out a lot nice. A lot more good, basically. Now, onto my box. What I would use as the doctor. Now this was an, uh, an 11 o'clock to die with the black windows with the same interior interior but I got super glue on it. Um, yeah I've got super glue on it uh, so I decided to make it my own TARDIS at that, at that point because I well, like the, the clear uh, windows better, but just to make it better, make, make my own tires. So, like I've seen Captain Jim, Jimmy Pie and people like that make it, um, make their own. So, basically, mine got, I've got the black windows, got purple around the uh, windows, which is nice and different, I think. Uh, if you go closely, you can see the super clear, which I've which I basically used now polished basically darken the whole bottom of, of, of the tiles which you can see in there make it look a bit scuffed and used like if you watch Angels Take Manhattan you look at the TARDIS there at the end of, of the episode and you can see the whole bottom of it is worn and so I've kind of gone for that look because I, I really did like that look but yeah, the main difference you can probably tell is the signs. Uh, I do make them with paper and buy to mine, so they don't look like the best. So I do want to get them, get an actual nice print when I redo this box, and I will be redoing it because I want to put my inside, my own inside interior to it. But yeah, uh, same with this, the light. Uh, wears off quite a lot with the paint uh, but yeah we've got the red text where well, I think that would be quite nice and the red and blue contrast you can probably tell as well with the uh, ambulance badge where I've worn it off a little bit so that looks used as well but overall it's a lovely looking box and that's it that's all 11 TARDISes that I've got, I can show you. 
So, tell me what you think. Tell me which one you like the most. And I can tell you which one I like the most straight away. And it's that one. Even though I do love the look of the black and white. I like this one. So, leave a like, subscribe, um, share it wherever you want. I really appreciate it. Anybody who watches this, and it's been a video that I've been wanting to make for a very long time. Thank you so much for watching. And you'll see quite a lot of videos coming very soon, because I've got six videos to record today, maybe more. Some Doctor related, some not Doctor related. I.g. Ghostbusters and drama because I was going to use my second channel for drama so uh, but James convinced me just to put the drama on this channel after the banner stuff if you don't know what the banner stuff is uh, and uh, what uh, and you only here for the TARDIS and the do Doctor Who basically some drama that went on which which helped this channel out quite a lot but uh, yeah more drama, hopefully part two to that banner series. But yeah, uh, you know, I've got a few videos coming up for me over the past next week or two. I know I've promised a load this week, but just getting these all recorded, I've got loads of ideas um, over these last two weeks. Um, and it's basically the first time I've been able to think of a crap ton of ideas and basically get them written down and, and get them all scripted because I've never, really done, I've never really scripted a video properly except for like the banner series um, and I know that worked out. I, I wanted to script more I, I, like I, said, I scripted a bit more for this video but yeah um, like, subscribe share thank you very much for watching i'll see you later guys i hope you guys enjoy this because i've been looking forward to doing this for ages goodbye